Hello guys, Martins here and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this manipulation. Well, I'm not sure how to call it yet, but uh, it looks something like destroyed city, something like toxicity or something like that. For me, it looks interesting, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial This, and maybe soon you create also something like this. I think it's interesting idea, so why not? Actually, I find some similar works on the website, on DeviantArt, for example, so I decided to create my own. At first, I create my new project. So click New and Width, uh, add 1920 and Height add 1080. And now on this new project uh, we're gonna create our manipulation to create this i use only two images this uh, girl and this city it's shanghai if you are interested in i link these images in the description so at first i need to make selection on this image because i need to cut this part with girl and rock for this i use as always pen tool It takes me a few minutes. Okay. I think uh, maybe the better way was uh, make selection by quick selection tool. But it's okay, now click right and make selection, feather radius as always at 3 pixels. Then click selection tool, click right and layer via copy to copy these parts. As you see we get something like this. Uh, also we can delete this, this part. So maybe I try with quick selection tool right now, okay. Click right and layer via cut. Now we need to change the size of this image because our project is uh, 1920 and this image is a little larger so I need to change it a little, maybe like this and then using move tool move this to our main project. Okay, it looks something like this. I think the the size is okay. So now uh, go to our city, to our skyline image. Uh, need to do some correction and also change the image size. Something like this, and then using move to move it to our main project, but but uh, drag it under uh, our layer roof model. Something like this. I think it looks uh, cool. But as you see, we need to adjust the color on this image. Uh, it's specific manipulation, so I just need to desaturate this image. So click this small icon and go to Hue Saturation and desaturate it at minus 100. Even at minus 100, it can be maybe 85, maybe 80. It's okay. We need to. We can change it at the end if you want. And now duplicate this layer with uh, skylines and model and merge these uh, copy layers. Then we need to, we can add some uh, lightning effects. I think it's a nice idea, but not too much. Uh, lightning effects always so works perfect with this type of manipulation 
Uh, I think something like that is okay. I change my position of lights a little. Here's my properties. It's no sense to show you this because you set your properties on your own. As you see, it's a little different and now I think our lights are uh, better. So now we can add some brushes to our image to improve our effect. I download some brushes from the website, so I link it in the description also, if you are interested in. I think uh, this looks okay. Take a look. I think it works really nice. Maybe I need to change opacity a little about 60% is okay and now create another layer and I use other brush maybe some splatter or smoke brushes I think it looks really nice on this image change opacity a little to 30 or even or 35 I try with uh, other uh, I'm not sure what I want so I try with this Okay. Of course you can use Dutch and Burn tool, but I think it's not necessary, so on this uh, manipulation I don't want to use it, because it's something like distorted manipulation, it's no sense to add uh, too much lights, I can add some Dutch uh, uh, on these rocks, but as I said, I think it's not necessary and it's only a tutorial. Uh, so now is time for some uh, special effects. I think you can add some lens flare. So create new layer, fill this layer with color black. Change blend mode to screen. Go to filter, render and lens flare. And set the positions, uh, set the position of your flare. Okay, something like this and now it's time uh, for last color correction for color effects so at first I use photo filter uh, I use this warming filter and I put about even 50 or 60 percent Then I use gradient map, change blend mode to soft light, and I use uh, this type of of gradient. I change opacity a little because it can be too strong, maybe for uh, seventy or eighty. And as always, it's a good idea to add some curves to improve contrast and lights.
and okay I think it looks uh, quite good maybe you can add another gradient map if you want you can experiment for example one of these photographic tuning Uh, to improve your contrast or something like this uh, as you see it's not complicated manipulation but it looks very interesting for me uh, of course you can add more effects if you want and thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this manipulation if you are first time on my channel and if you are interested in photoshop subscribe my channel uh, for more Photoshop tutorials and as I said thank you for watching and I hope you see you soon